Hello and welcome to another episode of Hooks and Dice. I'm Leela Kroka and today's episode is going to be short and sweet because I have a lot of crocheting to do, but it's special because we have better audio. Yay! Uh, thanks to three or four, I think five different friends helping me search over the course of two weeks, I finally landed on some software that's going to allow me to have uh, better quality audio and the and maintain the quality of the video uh, generous donation my first donation from the gun 84 he has donated twenty dollars towards some software that is glitching right now but hopefully it'll get fixed within the week in the meantime I'm using uh, the Logitech software that is proprietary to the webcam that I've got and I am more than halfway done with the sea glass bag that I was talking about last week. I've got 14 out of the 24 motifs made. And I don't know what it is with me, but I keep finding patterns that are a little wonky here and there. This one is no exception. When you make the first corner on the square, you're making a circle inside a square. It's bulky. You put five stitches into the first part of the corner. And then the rest of the corners look nice and even, but it, it also calls for two chains in the first corner, but three chains in the other three, and I don't know if it's meant to make them look just as bulky, but to me it just makes it look like there are extra holes in it that you don't need. So and there's also the final row when you're going towards the um, last stitches. Boy, there's a lot going on there that I don't understand. So I'm doing a hybrid of what the pattern calls for and what I think should be done. And I think it's looking good. I may do it exactly to the letter next time just to see what's going on. But I didn't like how it looked the first time I tried it. So probably won't be uh, doing it the way the pattern says originally ever. You know, I'll just do it the way I've modified it. And speaking of crocheting, finished the Cthulhu kitty. Yeah, boy. Look at this baby. She has a tail that's as long as her feet, so it helps her stand up by herself. She's got the wings. She's got the tentacles. And so she is available on my Etsy account for $15. And I will include links to that at the end of the video and in the comments section. If you'd like to make your own Cthulhu Kitty, I have the pattern available on Patreon. You can support me for $5 and you will get the pattern that you can use for yourself. And you can sell the dolls, just don't redistribute the pattern in any way, shape, or form. So, um, I've been having a lot of trouble trying to sort out my spells, abilities, and weapons when it comes to D&D. &D. The character is a heavy-duty badass of a tank, but I never know when to use the weapons or, or the spells or abilities or what to use. So my DM came up with the great idea that he should make we should make some flashcards for the weapon and class abilities that I can quickly reference during combat. And the spell cards I can get pre-made online through a website that I'll include the link to at the end of the video and in the comment area. You can select the class like Paladin and then select the spells available to the paladin and then you're just printing out the spells that you need instead of the entire list. It saves on paper and ink and money so it's a win with me. And we're going I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how it works on Wednesday when we play. If it works on Wednesday, I'm going to see about making stuff for uh my character on Monday. She doesn't have nearly as many spells or abilities, but I'm going to do the uh, flashcards anyway, just so that I can keep them on hand and get used to it and start familiarizing myself with what I have and what I can use with, the, uh, with a mind to not needing them later on. Now that I have new recording software, the Udemy course I plan to release should be a go. There are four sections with 13 lectures. There are patterns in each lecture, and there are links to external supplemental materials. And there will be some helpful pro tips to help you avoid pitfalls that happen commonly to people who are learning to crochet. I'll announce the start date when the course material is complete, 
and you guys will have a special coupon if I can manage it so that my viewers get a percentage off uh, for being my loyal viewers so you guys can get a discount on learning how to crochet and you know you want to learn how to crochet because why are you watching this blog if you're not uh, you might be a gamer but you know you want to crochet you know you do anyway thanks for watching and have a great day